up here, hosts. <laughs> if you must, you have young Edward. Eddie, you look like Bell's father after he was committed to the insane asylum. <laughs> And then you have young Ryan. He looks like one of the I wish he was lost boys. <laughs> <laughs> My God, darling, I saw your opening monologue. A song of the South was easier to sit through. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to be here, though. Although you people, you should be more grateful that we are here taking time to entertain you. You are taking time away from our various evil prams. After this, we have to go find the family from Coco and deny their dreamer status. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with my esteemed colleagues, Ursula from the Little Mermaid. Give it up for Ursula, everybody. You know Ursula from the film The Little Mermaid in the show I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, you were based off the drag queen Divine, fitting since the Little Mermaid remake is going to eat dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you, dear. I heard they wrote a song about your body type called Poor Unfortunate Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, you old diabetic cow, you offer <laughs> You offered Ariel a pair of feet. Why, dear? Because you had yours to give after they were amputated? <laughs> <laughs> you continued success on your new show, This Is Us. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Let's see who else we have here tonight. Scar, Jafar, Captain Hook. Mm. We've already roasted the Disney princesses. I guess we've moved on to the Disney queens. <laughs> Especially you, Jafar. You certainly had us all convinced how in love you were with Princess Jasmine. <laughs> Although, dear, I am surprised she was so against the idea in the first place. She certainly put up a fight for a girl with no clitoris. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Perhaps you would have had a better... <laughs> Oof, indeed. <laughs> We're not the heroes, faggots. What do you think you can? <laughs> Although, Jafar, perhaps you would have had a better experience with Cruella's vagina. After all, you do have experience with mangy old street rats. <laughs> to have you, except Gaston, of course. He's told us every morning he eats four dozen eggs, and I sincerely doubt you have that many left. <laughs> oh, I'm not done with you, Jafar, you drag queen in a beheading video. <laughs> you dress like you're going to a Dubai boxing match. <laughs> You dress like Bin Laden in the 70s. <laughs> My goodness, look at your robes, darling. I didn't know ISIS had a figure skating team. <laughs> and do you remember the end of your film? You tried to strangle the poor genie. How do you sleep at night knowing you gave Robin Williams the idea? <laughs> Snake, the Disney Channel, has been doing that to its child actors for years. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to my dear Scar. Scar, darling, what a wonderful performance you gave in The Lion King. Of course, you're not the only person on the dais with a Scar. That manatee Ursula got one after bumping into a boat in the Everglades. <laughs> <laughs> And at the end of your film, you were assaulted 
by a flatulent warthog. I'm surprised you and Ariel weren't better friends. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of blatantly queer Disney villains, hello, Captain Hook Nelson Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Hook, you're an old sack of wind-burned flesh who's scared of a ticking clock. For a moment, I mistook you for Miss Deville's uterus. <laughs> My goodness, darling, you're the worst closet queen of them all. You're surrounded by boys who never grew up. You live in the Disney equivalent of a Brian Singer party. Oh. Dear, you look like you know the exact day the kid from Baby Driver turned 18. <laughs> Just one year ago, today. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Captain Hook, you old pedophile. We do have something in common, though. We both put curses on children that they treat with love for men they've never met. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to my dear Cruella, Cruella de Vil, everyone. Dear, you fancy yourself a beautiful dilettante, but you've no breasts to speak of at all, and I'm played by Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> and you tried to skin those poor Dalmatians to make yourself a coat. You ought to have skinned your ass and reupholstered a leather couch. <laughs> despicable woman I've ever met in my life, and I'm in a film where the hero is a date rapist. <laughs> and of course, my dear Gaston. Can you show us your muscles, darling? <laughs> He's a little slow, that was okay. <laughs> Personally, I don't think Gaston gets enough credit for his performance in his film. After all, he had to look like a bigger cunt than Emma Watson. <laughs> After all, that your marriage to Belle didn't work out. Perhaps you and Cruella could work. You do have experience shooting into a giant hairy monster. <laughs> <laughs> I have only one thing to say before I leave you all. Gaston, my dear Gaston, you glorious, handsome specimen. I, for one, cannot believe that Belle wouldn't marry you merely because you don't read. If we were married, darling, I'd use an open book as a pillow while you mashed my face into it. <laughs> in that small provincial town, they'd be singing, there goes that odd girl with her face covered in ink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Give it up for Scar! <laughs> <laughs>